Hey guys, welcome back. Here is the GE machine. I wanted to go through some of the buttons and some of the numbers that we have here. So just before we begin, just know that with the GE machine, there is no line indication, at least this one, there is no line indication to tell us how far um, off that we can scan. Like the end of the table, the end of the scan line, usually machines will have some type of indication like on the table, or like a line here or somewhere. So with this, it's very good to just push the patient all the way down. Like if they have a chest out and pelvis, their feet can hang off the table, that's fine. Just scoot them all the way down so that nothing will show up red when you're scanning the patient. Okay, so let's get to it. Of course, we have our up, down, in and out. So when you see like the line here, that means a gantry. And then this just makes it a little faster so you can use both um, to push it together and it's just a lot faster than just it going, you know, very, 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 very slowly. You see, it's moving, but it, you can't even tell that it's moving. But once you press two, it's like really fast. This is your inside light, and this is your outside light. You see the person, they're in the gantry and the light is inside. You see the person, they're in the gantry and it's outside. This is the light put button. So when you click it, your light comes on. Outside light, inside light so it just depends on where you zero it out this is zeroing it out and then the scantry tilts a lot of GE's I know that not GE sorry some machines don't tilt but this one actually does okay so now let's get through oh and this is to bring the table out so if you just hold press it or hold on to this the table will come out and down automatically and fast okay oh and sometimes there's like a lock button this is like the lock button to have it lock not move in and out um, you'll know that this is on when you hear that click there's a click and so here's how it normally looks like the number up here on top of the gantry so you have your up and down um, numbers where the, that's a table height this is a table height how far up how far down so that'll determine where the patient goes on your axial axial line right there and then you have your in and out button patient going in and out that's going to be determined by this line here so how far in and out that the patient needs to be and this right here is a gantry tilt so how how much tilt that your gantry has so normally we would use it on a head this means that the light is on so your laser light is on and then so this button you'll know again from the click or this button right here that means it's locked so inside light is a zero so zero here with my inside light we're at zero we're starting fresh I'm starting right there for zero so if I go in more the number is gonna be I I'm going in and it's going from zero and this is the bottom of it so this is the bottom that means inferior and if this light is gonna go past this it's gonna say wait for it wait for it wait for it see how it changed to s superior so from zero above is superior from zero down is inferior so when the this goes up you know it's going higher superior from your zero point and it's going down inferior and when you set up your numbers on the machine this is how you'll know if you need to go more than the zero would be s and less than the zero would be i so instead of negative and positive that's what they use i for negative s for positive number and that's what i wanted to share today so know your superior and inferior number so that you can set your numbers correctly when you're setting it up on the machine to scan right and then of course we have our step buttons here this is for floral um so that's it for now so toodles noodles Stay cool, stay awesome.